Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to another Iron Man episode. It's currently the spider minions blocked, which is the leg I already have. So I'm going to do some Araxor. I actually extended my Reckless Aura for 30 minutes. So I have a one hour Reckless Aura. So I'm going to do the whole Aura and the kills on these paths are extremely fast. By the way, I'm not going to use my Armadillo book here. I'm just wearing it for the stats. But uh, yeah, let's get into some Araxor kills. Hopefully get some good loot. First kill and already a new personal record. 5 minutes and 7 seconds. Pretty good. Okay. Oh, they changed the uh, interface for the loot. That's pretty cool. Okay, second kill. Some blue charms. I mean, I'm going to need these blue charms for 99 summoning, so it's actually not that bad. It seems like I will be able to do like 6 kills in this 1 hour, because it's almost the halfway mark and this is the third kill, so let's see what we get. Oh, 2 onyxes. I actually used some of the onyxes already to recharge my amulet of souls. It's at... 90% now, it was at like 10% or something, so these are very good to get. Okay, fourth kill, but how many overall Araxi kills do I have? 239, so the next one is 240. Oh, two Sonic scales, okay, that's pretty good. Actually, I think I can do seven kills because I still have 22 minutes, so let's see what the fifth loot's going to be. Magic logs, okay, this is really shitty. I would want to reroll this, but... I don't really care for the pet right now anyways. I'm still getting like six minute kills, which is actually very nice And I'm not using that much food every single kill even though it's like 100% of rage right now So let's see what the sixth kill is going to be. Wow, that's not that's <laughs> that's like no loot at all Like no items no charms no potions anything, but it was apparently 400k anyways Okay, seventh loot is actually very good 1.2 million onyx bolts E but no leg piece so that kind of sucks Something I've been advised by a couple of people is to get a Holy Overload potion, so I'm going to unlock that for 700k, there we go, I now have it. But I need to get the Mochilla Mushrooms and uh, make the Prayer Renewals to be able to actually make use of it. And I do have the Herb Lore level for it, but yeah, I need to farm those. I I'm not sure if I have any seeds in my bank, I can go check, but if I don't, then getting them is actually kind of annoying. But I'm going to try and do my best to get them and use them in the future. Okay, there are actually only two mushroom patches, so I think 18 mushroom spores will be good enough. So I'm going to start planting those, and also I have 95 magic tree saplings in the bank. So I will be able to do quite some farming. I'm going to set up a farming counter right here after this clip, and in the end of the video we can see how much farming experience I've got from the tree runs and some mushroom runs. I like really really want to get these to ruby bolts and uh, because of that I need to get higher fletching. I mean you technically need 95 but I boosted all the way to 95 to try to make or 93 rather to make these and then you need 95 to put the ruby bolts on them. But I've been buying broad arrowheads and some feathers so I'm going to just make some arrow shafts as well and I'm going to slowly work my way towards 95 fletching or at least 93 so I can just make the bolts and then after that boost two levels. So I think 93 is going to be a very good spot to stop at. I don't need higher than that for any reason. So I'm just going to do that casually as well. I have 100,000 farming experience now. I'm just going to put a counter as well instead of the prayer one. Remove this one and put a fletching one so you will see the fletching experience slowly go up as well towards 93. Holy shit, 5 million. I've never reset that before. And pin. There we go. So there's actually an event right now where you can gain construction, farming and woodcutting experience but during the event the different skills you can gain experience in will change but I did try it and every single construct you do here or if I do this I'm going to get like 70 experience per time you can see I'm gonna get it in just a sec there you go 69 I have now earned the maximum amount that I can also get in materials from this, which is not that important because you only get money from that, I think. But the experience is actually, for construction, maybe alright. It's pretty AFK and stuff like that, but right now I don't really care that much about construction anyways. But I looked at the farming one because I was like, oh, that's obviously something I don't uh, do that much and I need more farming levels. But it's only like 40 experience per one, and it takes... It's, it's pretty slow, so it really isn't worth it. I'm just going to do player-owned farm. Uh, as I'm going to try my best to get into that as much as possible. And then get that down as a daily. And then I'm just going to do my tree runs and stuff like that. I'm currently at 100,000 farming experience. And I still have some broad arrows. And I'm at 250,000 fletching. So that's quite a lot. Oh nice, it's actually not that rare to get these from doing the farming patches of mushrooms, but I got a Gloom Shroom Zygomite and I'm going to put this into my player owned farm and it's going to be a lot of farming experience, really nice to get that. I have no idea how good it is to buy these different pets with beans here, but I got 5000 experience from an Elder Bull. 
probably not the best thing to do actually. Doing these tree and herb runs is actually giving me quite a lot of farming experience. So this is going to be 84 farming right here. Hopefully I can get close to 91 soon. So instead of keeping this in my large pen, I'm just going to sell it for 130 beans now that I have my Zygomite. So I can buy a medium pen and I can put my Zygomite in there. I think the Zygomite gives like insane experience, but I'm not so good with the player owned farm. So I'm not really sure how you keep making it a daily, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. But first I'm going to have to build the medium pen. All right, I'm back with all the stuff that I need to make the pen. So here we go. I'm going to make it. And I think that my Gloom Shroom Zygomite had a good trait. I'm, not, I'm actually not sure if it's a good trait, but it seemed pretty good. Giver, which is like more experience when harvested. And experience is exactly what I want. So pretty nice, it seems. Maybe there are way better traits, but I have no idea. Okay, so it's actually the next day now. I just wanted to instantly show you guys how much experience you get from this. I have 100, 100 on both the different ones. I think that's good. 82,400 experience. Jesus. If I can do this every single day, I'm not sure if you can, but if you can, that is so good farming experience that you don't even need to work for. And we're back to next again, about to get my first kill, and I now have like 83 minutes on my book, so I can actually use that for quite a lot of next kills. Wait, brass next to- what is that? Is that something- oh, it's not a drop though, Illuminate Stone Spirits, that's like the worst thing I can get. I thought that was an achievement to get another item or something. Okay, kill number two. I feel like my next killing potential is getting way better. I have more food than I usually have every single kill, and the kills are going a bit faster as well. This is a new personal record, 522. But I get Luminite Stone Spirits again. Third kill of the trip. This one was a bit slower, but still pretty good. Below six minutes. Just below six minutes, I think. Yeah, I will get just below that. Okay, the drop. Oh, dude. Oh my god. Okay, I'm the luckiest person to ever do next on an Iron Man. Dude, I wanted all the magic gear. And I get Virtus Boots and Virtus Gloves. The only downside of the Virtus Gloves is that I already had Celestial Hand Wraps, but those break after a while, so... It's actually pretty good. I mean, I'd rather take that than Torva Gloves, to be honest. Can I please have a back-to-back -back Virtus item right now? Or actually, if I would just get any item from next back-to-back, -back, that would be great. Okay, hopefully I don't die from the explosion. And the drop is... Oh, Restores and Saradom and Bruce. It's okay, I guess. Just quickly extended and finished a Dungeoneering challenge, which is going to give me 92 Dungeoneering. So I'm getting a bit closer to 99, slowly getting there with daily challenges, but that's another level at least. So I recently got the new Divination set, the or it's not new, but I got the Elder Chronicles set. So I combined all the pieces together to make the set. And that gives you sometimes duplicate memories and sometimes it gives you, I think it's a 5% chance to get 5 times the energies when you harvest or put them into the well. So it's definitely very good for getting more energies for invention charge and I'm currently like 12 minutes of charge left. I'm not going to do a ton of PVMing right now, but I definitely definitely know I'm going to be doing more PVMing in the future as always. So I just wanted to try out the new set that I just got with the energies for tier 90 that I also quite recently got too. So I'm going to get 10,000 energies and hopefully it won't take too long. I'm going to see if I feel quite a difference with the new set and all that. Alright, there we go, that's 10,000 energies. Felt actually pretty fast, so I'm sure that the set is very useful, so I'm going to be using that every single time I do divination, at least when it's for the invention charge, otherwise I'm going to use the 1% set that gives you more experience. But yeah, let's uh, put all these energies into divine charge and see how much charge we get. Okay, so I got 28 charges and I currently have 12 minutes left of charge, so I can't really do a lot of PVMing with that. So let's add all the charges and see. Now we have 4 hours and 26 minutes, so not too bad and it went pretty fast to get those energies. Okay, so it's a new month and I can get the Oyster Ward again, but I don't really care so much about the Oyster Ward. It's always like this, 240k or even worse than that. But what I really want is the farming experience. I'm really trying to get 91 as soon as I can because then I can plot fell stocks and be able to make the prayer renewals. And some more farming experience from the Troll Invasion. Even though the player on farm exists, I'm not really that into it just yet. So I'm going to put this on farming as 91 farming is my main goal right now for the holy overloads that I can make from the prayer renewals. 
I actually want to try to get a bit more efficient on my Iron Man. I slack a lot on the daily challenges, so I got a super prayer restore potion daily now. So I extended that, and I'm going to have to get six of these Vivern Bones, which I soon have, to be able to get some Herblore experience. Very quick and easy daily. I definitely will be doing more dailies, by the way. As I said, I've been slacking on them really hard, and I'm missing out on a lot of experience for the more annoying skills, definitely. So let's see how much experience this is going to be. 49,000. Always great to see that for Herblore. Such an annoying skill as well to train. QBD, because it was a Reaper assignment that I had not been doing for ages. So you will just see the loots that I get in the background. And after that, I will get another assignment. But what I wanted to talk about while I show these loots is I want to try to get more efficient. So I'm probably going to do more questing. I'm going to actually do more skilling. I'm going to try to be more efficient on the account in general. So I'm doing all my dailies as much as I possibly can. I'm buying broad arrow tips or whatever they're called. So I can actually get my fletching up because I really want to do that for the emerald bacrimel bolts or whatever they're called I have no idea also as I said I'm getting into the player owned farm so I have a lot of catching up to do because I didn't play the game for such a long time and I've been really 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 busy in real life lately as well so I'm going to now try my best to focus on being efficient and hopefully I can progress quite a lot and make some videos on that Unfortunately, my next Reaper assignment was not very good. I got King Black Dragon, but I didn't skip it because I just wanted to see how easy this was. Okay, yeah, uh, I'm probably going to get like one Reaper point from this. This was the easiest thing I've ever done. I just haven't killed this boss for so long. I just wanted to see how it was actually like. Oh, seven Reaper points. Yeah, it's very low amounts of Reaper point, but better than I expected actually, to be honest. The, the boss was so extremely easy. I had a daily of doing 20 runs of the Heffin course and I was so close to 81 agility already, you can see on the top. This is actually my level 81 run right here. So I wanted to complete that daily and also bang out 81 agility. So there you go, an agility level gained on the account. For sure agility is the most boring skill in the game and it's actually so slow as well. So hopefully I will get quite some experience. 17,000, uh, not the greatest but definitely good to do every single time you get that. I should extend that as well probably. Okay, so I'm actually going to end the video here, but before you turn the video off, I just want to say that I have a plan for questing, which is quite hefty. I want to complete this list is endgame, because the reward from that is nuts. The experience you get is 5 times 250,000 experience in any skill you want, I'm pretty sure. And I really want that. For farming, that would be nuts. So I have quite a lot of things to do and the first thing I need to do is master barbarian skilling which is really really easy so I'm doing that right now and look at this this is going to be my goals right the quests that I have still to do is nomads elegy and heroes welcome the heroes welcome quest I only need to do the master barbarian skilling but then for the nomads elegy I have these quests to do I'm not sure if there's more requirements past that I don't think there there might be but I'm not so sure um, Heart of Stone, I need to do these two quests. So yeah, there are some more requirements, but those quests are probably very, very easy to do. And for the last one, the Mighty Fall, I only need to do these two quests, and I don't think they're that hard actually either. So I'm going to do all that in the next video and hopefully be able to complete this quest. If not, because this quest is like nuts, I've heard, uh, then I will definitely be able to complete this in the video after the next one. But look at the reward for this. Three quest points, five times 250 experience lamps, and uh, I'm not sure what this actually is, but three offhand catalyst fragments. Okay, whatever. Anyways, the experience is why I want to do this. Uh, because, you know, I can put that in a lower skill and then it will not be a pain in the ass to train it at that level to the higher levels. Talking about wanting to get my skills higher, you know. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this video and I'm really happy about those Virtus gloves that I got. They're currently in my bank because I'm wearing these instead. I wanted to do some thieving and this is how far I got. 20 experience. Quite a grinder here. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one guys. Take care.